Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to implement and not function using McClock Pitts neuron. The two table of and not function looks something like this. In this case, we have two inputs that is x1 and x2. Y is the output here. Whenever the value of x1 is 0 and x2 is 0, the output is 0. If the value of x1 is 0 and x2 is 1, the output is 0 again. If the value of uh, x1 is 1 and the output is x2 is 0, the output is 1 in this case. If both the values of x1 and x2 are 1, the output is 0 again in this case. The meaning of this one is uh, we need to design a mclock pitts neuron in such a way that the neuron will fire only when the value of x1 is 1 and x2 is 0. In all other cases, it should not fire in this case. We know that uh, MP neuron has no particular uh, training algorithm. So we need to do some analysis so that uh, we will find optimal weights as well as a threshold value so that the neuron will fire only in this particular case. So the network looks uh, something like this. The input uh, layer has two neurons. The output layer has one neuron. X1 and X2 are the inputs. W1, W2 are the weights here. I will initialize the weights W1 and W2 to 1 and then we will see whether it will work or not. If it doesn't work, we will try to take some different values for W1 and W2. Now, uh, first we need to find out the net input to this particular Y. Based on the value of this particular thing, we need to decide what should be the value of theta here. That is the threshold value. So, if the first uh, input that is uh, 1, 1, if I consider this particular 1, 1, and the weights are also 1, 1. x1, w1 plus x2, w2 is equal to 2 here. That is 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 is equal to 2 here. If I consider uh, 1, 0, that is the second input, uh, 1 into 1, that is x1 is 1, w1 is 1, and uh, x2 is 0, w2 is 1. The value is equal to 1 again here. If the input is 0, 1, 0 multiplied by 1, and 1 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 1 again. Finally, if I consider 0, 0, I will get 0 multiplied 1 plus 0 multiplied by 1 is equal to 0. So, these are the uh, net inputs what I have calculated for this particular neuron. Now, based on this particular thing, we need to find the threshold value in such a way that the neuron will fire only in this particular case. That is, x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 0 here. But if I want to find out, uh, if, if I take the value of theta is equal to 1 or more, uh, it will fire uh, in this particular case, uh, that is uh, whenever the input is 1, 1, because uh, the net input of 1, 1 is 2, which is greater than or equal to 1. It will fire in this case also, because uh, the net input is greater than or equal to theta, that is 1. If I consider this also, it will fire, but I am not expecting this thing, I am expecting the neuron to fire only in this particular condition, hence the theta, uh, you cannot take the value as 1 here. If I take 2, it will fire only in this particular case, so that is also uh, will not work in this particular case. So what I need to do is, I need to modify this particular weights and then we need to check uh, what should be the value of theta so that it can fire here. Now I will modify the weights as uh, w1 is equal to 1 and w2 is equal to minus 1. This is how actually the neural network will look like. Again, we will try to find out the value of y in for all the possible inputs. For 1, 1, 1 into 1 because uh, w1 is equal to 1, 1 into minus 1 because w2 is equal to minus 1 here. So I got 0 here. For 1, 0, I got 1. For 0, 1, I got minus 1. For 0, 0, I got 0 here. Now if you look at these particular uh, net inputs carefully, I am expecting the neuron to fire only in this particular case. So I can set the value of theta is equal to 1 or more here. If the value of theta is equal to 1, this particular condition will be satisfied. That is y in is greater than or equal to theta in this case. In all other cases, 0 is less than 1, minus 1 is less than 1, 0 is one again less than 1. So in all three cases, it will not fire. It will fire only in this particular case here. Hence, uh, the uh, value of theta should be minimum 1 or it can be anything above 1 also. In all such cases, the neuron will fire. In all other cases, it will not fire. 
so the final uh, the weights are w1 is equal to 1 w2 is equal to minus 1 and the minimum value of theta should be equal to 1 in this case so this is how we can easily design and not uh, logic function using mclock uh, pitts neuron this is a very simple example with which uh, i have explained how mclock pitts neuron works i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.